Hello, my squad of Universal Legends. My name is Daniel, and today I'll be doing a simple engine guide. And thank you, music right on cue. So, let's go ahead and go to the back here. First thing you want you want to go to the fuel tab, fuel engine tab, and get a fuel engine generator. Simply so you can get it. Now, you see this part right here? You want to align you want to basically align it with the engine and if it does that when you try to place it just flip it around and it should be able to connect to the engine matter of fact if you do that if these weren't here if you try doing that it wouldn't work so you just want it to be able to connect to the engine in this video it shouldn't be too long Oops. now cylinders the cylinders have like a trumpet part in the what we call the crankshaft has like a bullet tip. You want to get like the cylinder part, well, the trumpet part into the crankshaft. Then give me one second because I feel like the music is overpowering me a bit. So, after doing that, we have them all connected. Thing you want to do go to the settings. Depending on how you want this engine to respond, if you want it to be like that engine you get when, like when you first start off really inefficient but really powerful, you don't want to mess with the ramp up time. If you want this to be an efficient ramp up time, I recommend going 6-3. That's 6 second sec ramp up time for it to like warm up when power draw is requested, and the 3 second decay time so it charge deep and time slower. That way, if things are still going, they don't just shut off and start taking damage if they take damage from not having power. Now. What you must do is you must have exhaust pipes. Now, why do you need exhaust pipes? Well, it's simple, so things don't overheat. So, you're gonna want a quarter pipe on the one at the very end. Now, this isn't an engine build guide, like how to build ev like the only engine you'll ever need. This is a basic tutorial explaining on how engines should be built. Now. Carburetors are for efficient engines. As you can see, they have a medium amount of power but have high fuel efficiency. Efficiency, So they're built to not make you lose fuel and have to refine it too quickly. Now, that's just a basic carburetor engine. If you want to be more efficient, however, you would use the superchargers to keep... I forgot what these things do, so give me one second increases the fuel efficiency at the carburetor at low RPM. So, this basically means when that ramp up time is gonna make this thing even more efficient than it already is, so you're gonna need to lose, use less fuel. Now, for the turbochargers, this is what you connect to the, it be an exhaust port and kind of a supercharger. It creates higher efficiencies at higher end RPMs, and the only real problem with it, like the only real reason I don't use it, is because when you don't have to worry too much about efficiency, you have you get this problem. If it like if that wasn't there, say if that wasn't there, you get no way of putting these things right next to each other. Because if you if you do, give me one second, the X pipe action, like all these can leave out but you have to put a gap in between them since you can't have them connected to the carburetor and the cylinder while exit letting gas exhaust out so you have to put a space in between each one so if you're more concerned about efficiency over uh, like well if you're more concerned about efficiency per size than like power like power well maybe or if you're more this is the imperial system so all the metric users don't get triggered if you're more, if you are more used to using the, like getting more efficiency per square inch, well actually since this game is measure metered, let's use the games. If you're more, I don't know, I'm struggling. If you want more efficiency per square foot, per square meter, you would use these. If you want more engine power per square meter, you would just use them normally. Now, if you really want to max out your engine power, you wouldn't use the carburetors and superchargers. You would use the injectors. These things just shoot engine in, shoot oil into the engine. Well, fuel into the engine. This creates massive amounts of power 
but it's doing exactly what it sounds like it is shooting fuel into the engine but as i said it creates more power the drawback is it's way less efficient so you'll have to create more fuel to keep this thing sustained now both of them well actually something you you will want to know when you build on this the cylinder or the crankshaft actually can be attached to the bottom so if you raise this up two blocks you will be well three blocks and you'll be able to place all the things you will need like running underneath it and stuff so you can basically add one extra layer of strength like the one down here where it goes all the way around where I use the injectors because at times I had to like to get all those things up there running like the ammo processors and stuff but yeah I hope this is a good enough basic engine tutorial for the new engines in the game well quote unquote new compared to the old ones if you're taking a break now the radiators are the only things I really need to add to this and radiators basically you can just keep connecting them as long as you connect it they'll make you they'll make the engine stay cooler so it won't overheat now how do you overheat it's simple just if the if the engine cylinders build up too much heat because they either aren't because they have like too many injectors connected or they have no pipes or stuff they will overheat so radiators increase the, will decrease the fuel efficiency ow I hit my arm but they create the they create a cooling effect so more fuel but you can use stuff like more injectors to get more power and it, they'll stay cooler there's, I don't think as of now there's any real benefit to keeping this cool except maybe you might get more power but i don't know well anyways thank you all for watching like the video if you liked it disliked it if you did, didn't like it tell me what i could do better as well join the discord which will be in the description below and as always thank you all for watching